Good morning, guys. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing on this beautiful Saturday morning? Yes. So, um, I've been getting a lot of questions. My hair looks terrible. Please forgive me. I should brush my hair. So, I have a lot of people who ask me if I'm single or married or anything like that. So, I just want to set the record straight. Wait, let me just see if I put the sound on properly. Hold on. Yes, it's fine. So, uh, basically, I have been married for 10 years. 10 years, can you believe? I'm a married woman for 10 years, but me and my husband don't live together. Yeah, so, he lives in South Africa and I live in London. We basically lived together for the first two years. And then after that, we were like, hmm, um, let's... Uh, let's let's see you know let's 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 try uh, separate things and then we both were just like okay we actually love this so we're not going to live together but we'll stay married you know because we have a child together and stuff well he's my son's stepfather um so still dad so um yes we don't live together we don't even live in the same country <laughs> How amazing is that, guys? We talk every day. We still, you know, call each other husband and wife and stuff, but we don't live together. Uh, we don't live in the same country, and he comes to visit and stuff like that. And also, we are allowed to date other people. Da 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 da. But um, <laughs> yeah, he's actually the one who, who first started dating. Um, I knew it would be him because I'm I'm just like a weird loner and I'm very full I'm full of shit, you know, and um, I don't like having people around me and stuff like that And I'm also the worst I'm the worst girlfriend or wife Let's put it that way. Um, so he's been he was like the first one to start dating um, and he currently has a girlfriend and he showed me her, she's beautiful, and she's very young. My husband is like 65 or something like that. I'm 40, and I got jealous. But let me tell you why I got jealous. I didn't get jealous because he um, was dating someone, you know, and she's younger and hotter and all those things. I mean, that's uh, well done, you know, uh, whatever. I got jealous because he is 65 and I am 40 and he started dating before me. So it's like the competition, you know, he won. We are not physically attracted to each other at all anymore. I think that left within the first three months. And if you're honest with yourself, you probably realize that you're not physically attracted to your partner anymore either. Maybe, I don't know, I could be wrong. We're also not in love with each other anymore. But what we are is a family. And love and physical attraction has absolutely nothing to do with a long-term marriage. That is what we both discovered. So that's the secret to a long marriage. Be open and don't live together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and look, I'm happy. He's happy. I'm happy. What's the problem? What's the problem? All my sisters are always laughing at me. They're like, ah, ha, ha, your husband's way older than you, but he's dating and you not dating anyone. I'm just like, so? And I laugh back at them. Ah, ha, ha, you married, living with your husband. You have to see him every day and you're not even happy and I'm happier than you. <laughs> so, hmm. my mom is not very happy about this because my mom is a church woman and she's always telling me that god is not happy about this and whatever and stuff and then i say to her but i'm happy me and my son are happy because i know if i live with someone it makes me crazy so i don't want to live with anybody so you know and i'm very competitive you know i'm extremely competitive so i am just not i'm laying in bed thinking this motherfucker he is way older than me and he got a girlfriend way quicker than me and it's like what is wrong with you like oh my gosh so sometimes i get a bit mad about that and then i'm like why are you getting mad you can't get mad um because he's a man you know this is what men do men got needs and uh, men i guess men 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 can date quick, quicker, they can find people quicker. Whereas me, <laughs> I've just, I haven't dated anyone since uh, we have made this little arrangement. 
Yeah, so I think that's why I'm just taking my time. I'm not, you know, in a rush or anything like that. Um, if it's meant to be, it will be. And I know that. I have a, I have very good instincts. You know, I've uh, given my request to the universe. The universe knows what I would like my next partner to be like and whatever and stuff like that. But there's no rush, you know. So I'm just enjoying my time while I'm sitting in the waiting room, basically. Yes. And also we do have a deal where if one of us does fall in love and want to remarry another person then obviously we'll just get a quick divorce um and i think that'll be me it's just gonna take me a while longer because i do think i have the, i have a feeling that the next person i get into a relationship with is going to be the person i grow old with and just live the rest of my days with basically so it's just a matter of um, timing, I guess. But for now, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just like, I mean, sometimes someone would ask me out, you know, or someone would look at me and I'm just like, oh, no, I'm not ready. That's all I say. I'm just like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Let's see. And then me and my husband, we actually talk about it, you know. Um, I'll be like, oh, I went somewhere and I met this guy. And he's like, so go on a date. I'm like, oh, I don't know. And whatever and stuff like that so he's like he's like my best friend who i'm married to basically <laughs> um so i don't know what's wrong with me i just i love i mean i seriously love living on my own i love not sharing my space with anyone i love not sharing my mind with anyone i love not sharing my emotions with anyone you know and to be honest I don't see myself with someone. I mean, I think I could get someone just, you know, to get down, whatever and stuff like that. But even for that, because I know myself, I fall in love very quickly. Oh gosh, one look at me. If someone just looks at me or gives me like compliments or whatever, and I'm just like, I'm in love. It's over, I'm getting married, you know? So, yes. So I don't know. So I guess I'm scared of that because I know myself. I fall in love quickly i fall hard but then i also fall out of love very quickly and easily and i um i think that makes me undateable you know and i think i just want to use someone for things you know for physical things but for the emotional things i think i'm sorted i'm fine i'm good and yeah i think that's why i still haven't gone for it yet and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. So technically I'm married, but actually I'm single. But technically I'm married, but actually I'm single. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm gonna wait. I'm I'm definitely gonna wait. But I know, I know when it does come, you know, when I eventually do start dating again and stuff like that, it's it's gonna it's gonna be good. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just like, I just don't need that, <laughs> you know, I just, I just don't see myself waking up next to someone and just being like, lovey-dovey, and just being like, I love you, and then having to figure out, oh my gosh, how am I gonna break up with this guy, he needs to go, and then I've got serious trust issues when it comes to whoever's around my son you know I'm, I'm always like what's he gonna do you know because i watch all those serial killer documentaries i'm just like you know and to be honest with you i am quite, i'm enjoying just raising my son and you know just living in london and just doing whatever we want to do basically if i want to go on holiday I go on holiday. If I want to go buy something, I buy something. I don't have to ask someone and argue with someone and ask for money and this and this and this and this. I'm just, it's free. And that's what I love. I love that it's peaceful. Being single is peaceful. It's freedom. It's inner peace. It's delicious. But I have a feeling it will happen. So I'm just basically enjoying, you know, my free time. So yeah, I think... Um, in conclusion, I think when my son maybe leaves the house, maybe when he goes to university, I'll maybe start dating someone. <laughs> I hope, I hope my son looks okay by then, you know? You know? <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
So I'm just enjoying myself basically right now because I know eventually, like especially when my son is older, then I maybe do see myself dating someone. But for now, I'm just like having fun with my son. I'm enjoying making my YouTube videos and I'm trying as well to get a new agent and get my acting career back together again. So for now, I'm good. I'm fine. It's all good. But, 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 I do think I need to get myself a little... A little play play some some you know but uh but for now it's all good i'm good it's all good it's all good that's what i wanted to say about that did i comb my hair properly look at me bum, 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 bum. Mm, okay <laughs> but i just want to say that i just want to say that. i just want to have a coffee sit in front of the camera and and say that for those of you who are wondering for those of you who are not wondering now you know and now you know and yeah okay enjoy weekend bye